Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting, I would say like tricky algebra question from MathEgvam. 4 to the x plus x equal to 0 and we need to find our x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and in a few minutes we will check your answer. Just trust me, this is a very interesting question so you can also write your assumption, write your solution down into the comment section. So right now let's, let's try to solve this question. I suggest you this approach. First of all, let's leave this 4 to the x on the left side so as a result we have 4 to the x on the left side and this x let's write on the right side of course with the negative sign so equal to equal to minus x and right now the tricky move because 4 to the x equal to minus x everyone know that 4 to the x this is our uh, this is our exponential function this function looks like that approximately but we know everyone everyone know that this expression on the right side need to be positive so minus x need to be positive minus x need to be positive and when we multiply it by minus 1 we are only interested in x which are like less than 0 okay so I really hope you and you understand this restriction that x need to be negative because with the negative x we have minus minus we have plus so everything will be great so x is is less than 0 so I really hope you get this point right now Okay, right now let's rewrite this 4 to the x equal to minus x. Let's try to do some, some tricks. So 4 to the x equal to minus minus x. What are we going to do next? First of all, I suggest you to raise both sides to the power 1 over x. Okay, let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. As a result, what do we have? 4 to the x to the power 1 over x equal to minus x to the power 1 over x. So it changed nothing, we just raised both sides uh, to the power 1 of x. It changed nothing. But when you remember a really interesting and easy, uh, easy approach, when we have a to the power x raised to the power y, we can easily multiply it. a to the power x x times y. So we can easily apply this property right here on both points, but I need, I need uh, to this left side first of all. So as a result we have 4 to the power x times 1 over x on the left side equal to let's leave it like that without uh, without raising so we have minus x to the power 1 1 over x really great and right now x times 1 over x equal to 1 so we can easily cancel it and as a result we have 4 equal to let's leave it like that without any without any simplification so minus x equal to the power 1 over x and right now the tricky move let's change position okay let's write this expression on the left side and constant on the right side we prefer it okay i prefer constant on the right side every time so as a result we have minus x to the power 1 over x equal to equal to 4 so really great i hope you understand how can we get to this uh, to this point right now there are a lot of approaches how can we solve it i'm going to show you this one with with substitution okay it's really a great approach so first of all 1 to the x so let's look closely at this substitution part so let let's 1 over x let's call it as minus t okay so 1 over x let's call it as minus minus t okay and from here x is equal to minus 1 over t x is equal to minus 1 over x is equal to minus 1 over t and if you look closely our x need to be negative our x need to be negative so for this expression t need to be positive because when t is positive we have a negative x t is positive with the positive sign for example t is 3 and then the whole expression will be minus one third so t need to be positive and after this t positive because when t is negative x it will be positive but we need x less than zero okay so i really hope you understand why t is uh, need to be greater than uh, greater than zero okay and right now let's apply uh, each of these uh, elements into this spot okay let's do this uh, let's do this thing right now okay so as a result what do we have we have minus x but minus x equal to 1 over t we can easily multiply it by side by minus 1 so we have minus x equal to 1 over t instead of this minus x we're gonna plug in this 1 1 over t so we have 1 over t inside parentheses and outside parentheses we have 1 of x equal to minus t minus t minus t is equal to is equal to 4 so I really hope you understand how can we how can we get this uh, expression right now. I really hope you, you get it after these three the steps with the with the substitution. Right now, instead of this minus t, I'm going to write a product. So we, as a result, what do we have? One over t. We're gonna raise this to the power. Instead of minus t, I'm going to write this one. I'm going to write minus one times 
t e change nothing because we will have, we still have minus t as our power so equal to equal to 4 right now let's look closely what i'm going to do first of all when you have for example a and right here we're gonna array this for example this a we're gonna raise to the power x times y for example and when we have the situation like that we can easily uh, bring one of, the, of this expression and we can easily write it at the power of a we can easily write it as a to the power x raise to the power y i hope you understand it i get this uh, rule right here so we have the same uh, the same thing right here so we can easily write it like that and i'm going to write this minus one as a power of one over t okay let's do this right now so we have um, what do we have as a result we have one over t one over t raised to the power minus one and we raise all of the thing by by this t okay i just bring this minus one in as power of one over t equal to four so i hope you understand this step it's not that hard to be honest right now let's look closely what do we have one over t to the power minus to the power minus one first of all this fraction one over t i'm going to write as t to the power minus one so as a result we have t to the power minus one and of course raised to the power this minus one okay don't forget about it and of course all raised to the power t is equal to four and right now the the easiest move because we're going to multiply minus one times minus one as a result we have only our t inside parentheses so we have as a result we have only t inside parentheses and outside parentheses we have this t so as a result we have only t to the power t which is equal to four and right now i really love this moment because t to the power t equal to four after all of this after all this step we get the t to the power t equal to four which is it simplifies us a lot because from here everyone know that t is equal to t is equal to two and it looks like this is our answer but don't forget about substitution we had a substitution let's use for example let's look at this one so x equal to minus one over t and uh, everything is great for us because t need to be positive this one is positive so this t is is great for us this root is is great for us so right now let's remember about substitution so but but x equal to minus one over t minus one over t so as a result from here our x is equal to minus one half minus one half and everything is also great for us because as i said before we need to be we need to find x less than zero because as i told you before x need to be negative and we have our negative x first of all let's rewrite our question once more so we have four to the x plus x is equal to is equal to zero right now let's change this root so x equal to uh, minus one half let's check it real quick so but x is equal to minus one half so what do we get as a result from here we're gonna get four to the power minus one half plus minus one half is equal to zero really great right now four to the power minus one half let's don't pay attention to this minus we know that four to the power uh, that the power one half whenever we have a power one half this is our square root sign okay so as a result we can easily write it first of all we can easily bring this to our denominator because when we have a to the power x we can write it as one over a to the power minus x okay we can easily bring this from our numerator to denominator but we need to change sign so as a result what do we have at this point we will have one over four to the power not minus one half but one half plus minus is minus so minus one half equal to zero and the final tricky move this is our square root sign so as a result we have one over square root of four minus one half is equal to zero so from here our one half minus one half is equal to zero and everything is great zero equal to zero so our root is absolutely uh, absolutely correct right now we can see a graph you can see the point of intersection so our answer to this question our answer x is equal to minus one half and i really hope you understand this explanation i really hope you understand this geometric perspective i really hope you understand this explanation the trickiest moment is right here at this point so few few of these lines after this substitution so i really i really i think that you when you pause the video you'll understand this quick substitution it helps us a lot because as you can see after this substitution we have t to the power t which simplifies us a lot because t to the power t equal to four t equal to two is real quick we can easily find this t and after a substitution we can easily check it so the trickiest moment moment is right here at this point okay you can easily pause the video and you can easily understand this this substitution because without the substitution i don't know maybe a lambda w function we can easily try to solve this question with lambda w function but i really hope you understand this 
this solution. So this is my solution to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learned something new. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope, uh, I really think that uh, this uh, explanation will be helpful for you. I really, I really appreciate it when you leave your response, when you leave your your answer down into the comment section. And thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best in life. Take care of yourself. Also write your notes, write your response down into the comment section. What do you think about this question? What is your answer? What is your solution? It's really great to see like your solution. When you solve this question, correct or maybe sometimes not correct but when you do do the the step to this when you solve this question it's really like the uh, really extremely important moment in terms of math when you solve this question when you take a guess what is the correct uh, what is the correct answer and sometimes you know you can either solve this question absolutely wrong but with the with the with the lot of solutions you will get a correct answer 100 percent this is all about it we need to learn how can we solve this question correctly and step by step so i really hope you understand this explanation i really hope you understand this solution and sinker and for your time wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself have a great day